Here we go. Ari, explain where we are now. Okay, so we're on road one. We've left Jerusalem and we're heading east. This is the road that goes down to the Jordan Valley and to the Dead Sea. Yeah, we can see the sign. You can see lots yards. of trucks uh, going past us and buses and cars. This is a major thoroughfare. Now, off to the sides of the road, on both sides, uh, what you will find is these villages that have settlements that have been created by the European Union. The European Union has provided them with housing, with water, with electricity and established these communities, what were once nomadic communities or nomadic people that would wander around these areas, they have now settled down uh, on the basis of what's been provided to them by the European Union and have literally captured these areas. Right next to the road. Right next to the road. And that's because they want access to and from the main roads. The husband's got to work and, uh, you know, the women... Uh, so, as, I, as we're looking at these uh, homes mm -hmm. with the EU symbol on, yeah. in fact, you're telling me that, in fact, what the EU are doing is illegal. Oh, for sure. So according this is to the land. Oslo Accord. Not, not only according to the Oslo Accord. Okay. Oslo Accord in uh, 1993, 1995 uh, created three different areas. Area A, Area B and Area C. Right. Area C, which is the area we're in now, was under full Israeli security control and full Israeli administration. And what that meant was all planning and development of the lands was the responsibility of Israel. And that was witnessed by the European Union. It was uh, introduced as the, uh, the law of, of the land. The EU, over the last five years, has actually uh, taken a very specific stance that their goal is to establish a Palestinian state on these lands in Area C. And they've worked on the plan with the Palestinian Authority to create as much infrastructure, state building infrastructure, as possible in this area. And that's why you see all along this road these uh, settlements, outposts on both sides that are established by the EU. Again, illegal under Israeli law and illegal under international law based on Oslo Accords being accepted as international law. And we've seen lots There's of these. There's a Palestinian police car that just went past us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flying down there. Why yeah, I see it? we're actually we're on a road over here and if yeah. you look carefully on the uh, the cars we we'll see Israeli number plates and also Palestinian, Palestinian. number plates. There's sure. one over there with the Palestinian yeah. number plate. Oh plates. yeah, I mean there's no there's no separation of, of, of cars or roads in 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 this area any area. Yeah. Um, so there are more, many more to see and again this goes back quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, right. But we'll see a few more coming and, up. And, 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 and just to, to sum up, we're still in an area which according to all international treaties yeah. is under complete or should be under complete yeah. Israeli control. Correct. And as they state there should be no unilateral moves Correct. and therefore the moves being made by and the, the, Europeans, uh, the Europeans are in breach of the accord that they signed and witnessed. Correct.